in an era of super smartphones and tablets, it may be a little ho-hum to be talking about web browsers for PCs. But you should pay attention to Microsoft's new Internet Explorer 9, and here's why. IE remains one of the most widely used pieces of software on the planet. The new version offers faster performance and a slick new interface. But the real reason to pay attention to it is a new set of features that give you much more control over your privacy online, what information you want to choose to share with others. While there are a lot of good browsers out there, the new version of IE is pretty slick. Website icons can now be permanently affixed to Windows Taskbar, where they both look and act much like applications located on your PC. IE9 also harnesses your computer's hardware to give itself a significant speed boost for performing certain kinds of functions. The big caveat is it'll only run on PCs with Windows 7 or Vista. If you're still on XP, you're out of luck. The new privacy features are aimed at giving you more control over what online content providers can learn about you. It's common practice for many advertising networks to use software to track you as you move from website to website to develop a profile of your online habits. They may use this information for benign reasons to tailor advertising or content to your specific interests. But less reputable parties might also do it for unsavory reasons, even to capture personally identifiable information that could be used to spam you or worse. IE9 provides a new safety option that lets you subscribe to online tracking protection lists. These lists are maintained and updated by online privacy organizations such as TrustE and Privacy Choice, and they're a little like the national do not call lists that cut down on telemarketing. Other browsers like Firefox and Chrome are busy adding new protections as well, and with Washington discussing the possibility of new legislation, it could be that IE9 just turns out to be the opening salvo in a browser feature war designed to make web surfing more private for everyone. Let's hope so. For Bloomberg News and Business Week, I'm Rich Jaroslawski.